Good morning and welcome back to another video and today is another day of the zero to gold cap challenge. Now just stick around and enjoy the video. Okay so what we're going to be actually going over today is pretty much an near on infinite farm and it is basically pretty much AFK. Um, this is actually been covered by a, another gold maker and to be honest I really want to bring this guy to light because I was watching a lot of his content as I only just found him like the other day because he's quite a small channel and that is Rune Cool, that is with a K. Now this guy actually came up with this farm and he actually posted it like a few days ago and it is a hyper spawn farm. This farm is absolutely amazing, pretty much all you have to do is this and you just have to come over to this spot in the Twilight Highlands and it's right about Ha and you'll know you're at the right spot because there'll be an obsidian char scale right in front of the actual spawn point. Now, this is the actual part in which you actually do this. And all you do is spam the macro or you just moonfire anything that is around this area. And pretty much they spawn right about here. So, to get it started on this actual farm, you just have to keep spamming moonfire. And then as soon as they actually spawn, all these monsters will actually start dying and all around you and pretty much all of these guys will start to respawn in that point once you've obviously killed them when they're about to respawn so that being the case all of these dragons will just keep dying and coming back to life now this takes usually about like a couple of minutes in order to just get them to automatically start respawning everywhere they are and that means that it's just going to keep falling out of the sky now, if you have the potion of treasure finding on you, you can then loot a load of this type of stuff from the dragons. I do this like every two minutes, and I find this to be really helpful in order to get a hold of a lot of different types of materials. What is it that's actually so great about this farm? Well, once the two minutes of just killing all of the dragons that have gone past, so then they start to respawn right about here, in this section over Ha, and then they'll start spawning over here as well. So this is like a cross section of where two spawn points are, and because these guys are in like an infinite loop of just spawning and coming back, you have pretty much unlimited dragons to kill. That means if you use the potion of treasure finding, you're gonna get a lot of kata materials from the treasure chests and a load of greens, which you can then disenchant. Now I did a farm on this last night and I actually made a worth it export for this and this is for the Pyrewing farm and it actually came to around about 6,057 gold for all of the stuff that we actually managed to gather up which is pretty damn high and the overall sell rate is 0.29 which is pretty damn good. That means we're definitely going to sell all this stuff, obviously that isn't like a super heavy gold per hour but you're basically just standing there pressing a macro, so nothing overly that amazing. So when these dragons just spawn and spawn again, you're just gonna keep killing dragons and dragons and dragons. Now, there is another way in which Rune Cool actually goes over this, and he actually uses this with his skinning in his video about this. And he actually pulls in a lot more gold from this. So this is another way in order to get pretty much insane all the time mobs killed so obviously it takes a while for them to get all set up usually once after like two minutes all of the dragons start coming in like mass loads and you can just kill as many as you want and then skin them as well so that means you can get a load of the skinning materials like savage leather and the blackened dragon scales which then you can also make into pristine hides and overall it's just an amazing farm in general and to be honest, I really wanted to just overview this because it's just a unique brand new farm and the dude just needs some love for all of the work that he's putting into his channel recently. So what I would like you guys to do is actually go over to Rune Cool and check out a load of his videos. I will leave a link into the description of his skinning results, which I won't be stating in this video, so you guys can jump over there and give him some love from me because at the end of the day finding a farm like this where pretty much the mobs are continuously coming at you you don't have to move afk just spam and loot every two minutes it's just like it's a gold maker's dream for just lazy gold because all i was doing last night was just 
standing around just killing dragons. So at the end of the day, brilliant farm and I wanted to cover it just to show a bit of love in the community. So that being the case guys, that is the farm for the day. We actually managed to pick up quite a lot of bits. We actually got 36 pyrite ore, which will help us with our vial of the sands. I might be doing this farm a lot more. I don't know how this would do in a group farm because everyone would still get loads of loot as well. But at the end of the day, the greater celestial essence and the hypnotic dust was quite a lot. 82 and then we got some volatiles as well, which we can use. And all of the stuff on the potion and treasure finding as well. So pretty damn happy on the way things are going thus far and we also from this farm if you actually go into the editor for this which you can actually you which I'll actually post in the discord and pretty much it is we'll try to change that to 60 and pretty much that actually came to 821 raw gold as well just by vendoring all of the like the dragon's feet and all that stuff so that being the case, let's get into the gold for the day. Okay, so the gold for the day is a healthy 109,500 gold. The things that are of note is the Abyssal Fragments. We sold three of those for 4,551 gold. I didn't want them out, so I just sold them. The Baked Portato, and that was um, 2,568 gold for 90 of them. We also sold... Galley Banquet, 32 of them for 1,204 gold, along with a Glyph of Glossly Fade, three of those for 1,133. And we also sold a load of Highborn Compendiums of Sundering for 1,411 gold, along with a Vial of the Sands for 40,382 gold, and another one for the exact same price. So we told, sold two Vial of the Sands last night, along with a one of the storms, Compendium of the Storms for 1,412 gold. So overall, we made most of our gold from the Compendiums and the Vial of the Sands, so not too bad, so to speak. So 109,500 gold, let's pull all that gold in right now. This is definitely proving to be quite a hefty amount of gold coming in at the moment, so I'm pretty damn happy. The actual gold at moment for us is 331,862 gold and the, what's actually left over is I actually reposted two more Vial of the Sands on the auction house and we got four in our bank now so instead of selling one every day today we sold two in a day so <laughs> we've definitely got to get in on farming more of the Vial of the Sands stuff so I need to get my act together and just get all this done as fast as possible for the mechanist chopper because I thought making 10 would give us enough time to create mechanist choppers times 10 but it's proving to be that we've got to get our arse in gear otherwise we're not going to be able to resupply the Vile of the Sands in time so that being the case I'm probably going to have to do that. A side note for today we are introducing something to the Discord. Now, there has been a lot of questions recently regarding gold making and gold farming, and obviously I can't reply to all everyone because I didn't realize how many people would actually ask me questions and ask my mods questions and the Worth It Devs questions as well. So we're setting up a new role. It is called Guide, and basically this is someone who makes stupid amounts of gold and is quite well versed in actually making gold so that being the case that they are a reliable source to ask questions to now if you are wanting to ask a good question and it's just a simplistic question that you really need just a quick answer to please feel free to message any one of the guides in the in the discord and if you would like to be a guide then please message me directly today or tomorrow or whenever you want to be a guide and then I will overview it and we'll go from there and you can then help other people in the community make gold. So overall this is quite a helpful way in order to help everyone else and make everything a bit more streamlined and effective. Now aside from all of that I've Definitely got to get on with the Mechanist Chopper today. It is 9.38, so I'm going to edit this video and just crack a lack. That's basically what I'm going to be doing today, is just finishing off 
all of the materials for the Mechanist Chopper. Yes, and I mean all of them. I'm going to be sat here farming like a crap mad man. So, other than that guys, have an awesome rest of the day, and I shall see you in the next video, which will be tomorrow.